Hi, my name is Lee, and in today's tutorial we're going to look at how to deal with the purchase of new assets and hire purchase agreements on QuickBooks Online. This is a four step process, although some of these steps may not be relevant to you. In the example we're going to use today, Pete has purchased a new quad bike for £10,000 plus VAT. He's part exchanged his old quad bike for £2,000 plus VAT and he's paid a £2,000 deposit. The remaining balance has gone on to hire purchase which he will repay over the coming months and into next year. Our first step is to record the purchase of the new asset. To do that we're going to use the plus icon in the top right corner of our QuickBooks screen and under suppliers we're going to create an expense. We're going to enter the payee as the company that we purchased the new asset from. If we type their name into this box we can select them from the list or we could add them as a new supplier if we needed to. We're going to record that this expense was paid from the Contra account and we're going to do this because we didn't pay for the new asset in full. The payment date is going to be the date of our HP agreement and in today's example the date of that agreement is the 1st of May 2019. The reference number is a chance for you to record the invoice number on your purchase invoice. We're then going to come down to the category. The category that we're going to use is plant and machinery additions slash disposals. However, if you've purchased a different type of asset, you might use the motor vehicles additions or disposals category, or perhaps the land and buildings additions slash disposals. In the description box, we're going to record details of the asset that we've purchased. And in the amount box, we're going to record the full net value of the new asset, which is £10,000. Our quad bike has 20% VAT on top, so we're going to enter that here. And our final part of step one is to copy our description and paste it into our memo box so that this detail shows up on our VAT reports. We're then going to save and close, and we can move on to step two. Step two is to record the part exchange of our old asset. If you haven't part exchanged an old asset, you can ignore this step and move on to step three. To record the part exchange, we're again going to use the plus icon, but this time under other, we're going to create a bank deposit. We're going to record that this deposit has been paid into the Contra account, as again, we haven't actually received the money for our old asset. We make sure the date is dated the same date as our HP agreement and our previous expense, and we then move down to the detail of our deposit. The money was received from the same company that we've purchased the new asset from, and the account is also going to be the plant and machinery addition slash disposals. In the description, we're going to record details of what asset it is that we've part exchanged. And in the amount box, we're going to record the full net value of our part exchange. Our old quad bike has 20% VAT on it, so we're going to record that it's got 20% sales VAT, which is an amount we have to pay back to HMRC. Again, we're going to copy and paste our description into the memo box so that this detail shows up on our VAT reports. We're then going to save and close our deposit and we can move on to step three. Step three relates to the payment of a deposit. So if you didn't make a deposit, you can move on to step four. To record this transaction, we're going to go to the banking tab on the left hand side of QuickBooks. And in the full review section, we're going to find the transaction that was our HP deposit. We made this deposit on the 1st of May and we paid £2,000. So we're going to click on the transaction to bring down our drop down options and we're going to change the first box from expense to transfer. We're going to select the Contra account as the account we're going to transfer this money to and in the memo we're going to record a brief description that this money was a deposit for the new quad bike. We're then going to add this transfer 
and we can move on to step four. Our final step, step four, is to move the balance that's currently in our Contra account to a specific higher purchase category where we can then post our payments against the balance. This balance should be made up of the purchase value, less part exchange, less deposit. To move the balance, we're going to use the plus icon and under other, we're going to create a transfer. We're going to transfer the funds from a new higher purchase category that we can now set up. To do this, we're going to type the name of the higher purchase and we're going to add this to our chart of accounts. The account type is going to be non-current liabilities and the detail type is going to be long-term borrowings. We're going to make sure that this is a sub-account of our overall higher purchase category. We can then save and close and we're going to transfer this balance to the Contra account to cancel out the balance that's already there. The amount is going to be £7,600, which is the amount that we've put onto HP to repay in the coming months. The date is going to be the same date as our deposit and our HP agreement, the 1st of May. And in the memo, we're going to record that this transfer is to move balance of quad bike HP and we're going to save and close this transfer and that is the final part of our process. Now every time we make a payment to the HP company to pay off our higher purchase we post this transaction as an expense to the HP category that we've just set up with no VAT and detailed as a monthly repayment. Thank you for watching.